Hello, Foster's Games Reviews. Now I'm back um, from being ill. Um, yes, it was a uh, bout of uh, bronchial pneumonia. But hey, I'm back. Um, this is a late one, of course, on the 2nd of December. I went to Manchester uh, to go to a Comic-Con, uh, which was less than impressive, might I say. Uh, there's Facebook pages and such like um, complaining um, about this event. For the love of sci-fi it was called. And for the love of refunds. Um, so please check it out on uh, Facebook. I'll put the link below. And you can see for yourself. Uh, apparently the uh, Evening Express, the Manchester Evening Express, uh, only got three formal complaints. No, try possibly in the region of 15,000 complaints. But, if you go by what the newspapers say, then you'll believe anything. Anyhow, without further ado, um, on the day, uh, it was a massive, massive disappointment. Apart from, obviously, meeting some of the guests. Um, Ernie Hudson, wonderful guy. Uh, Zach, I, I do apologise. Um... God, no, Zach, yes, anyhow, I paid Billy in Gremlins, um, I can't pronounce his last name, I do apologise, um, he was, it was lovely too, Jennifer Runyon, uh, she played, um, in Ghostbusters, she played where Peter Venkman was doing the, um, the card, uh, mind, uh, you, you basically had to guess the cards. She was the girl in the in that scene. She was absolutely, she was wonderful. She was really, really nice. Um, but generally, I, I found that the lesser uh, actors tend to have more time for you, even though Ernie did. Um, Ian McDermid, uh, who played the Emperor, um, short and sweet. Uh, what's his name? Um, Billy D. Williams. Now the story behind that was I'd been waiting six hours, and I wasn't going to wait another hour and a half. So I went to the events organizer, which I didn't know um, until I found out afterwards. It was the event organizer. I uh, spoke to him, and he basically shoehorned me to the front to get Billy D. Williams, uh, who plays Lando Calrissian. He's looking very frail and very old. Eighty-one years old. He shouldn't be doing comic cons anymore. He really shouldn't. Um, I think he's just in it for the money now. I mean, enough's enough. Yes, the franchise has gone on for 40 years, but surely you get royalties from it. Um, uh, Dennis Lawson, uh, Ewan McGregor's uncle. Uh, very short guy. Um, he's polite. He was polite, but spoke very little. Um, Ian McDermott was the same. He was I'll sh When I show you what I've I got signed... Um, his personal assistant and himself was quite taken back with this. Um, like, wow! And so was Dennis Lawson. Um, now, to say the best of the last, I have to say, William Shatner. Now, I expected him being cheeky, chappy, you know, um, I'm 80, uh, is he 86? Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be doing many more rounds of the Comic-Con scene, if you ask me. Um, but um, I expected him being quite a genuine guy, where David Hasselhoff and uh, who else was attending there? Um, yes, Dolph Lundgren. Um, they were very pleasant, very nice. I didn't get their autographs, but uh, from what I could see and the, uh, the body language, the camaraderie between everyone... Absolutely fantastic. William Shatner, on the other hand, absolute. Yes, that is what I said. I uh, I will explete it below. <laughs> um, I asked Mr. Shatner. Uh, he did his autograph on what I will show you. And then he asked the question, would you like me to put anything else? I said, can you put, I'm the best captain. And in his words, no. Oh. 
And then he replied, I'm not going to put that. Uh, oh, but you are. His, and I said, but you are. Uh, he come, his comeback was, I know that. I don't need to put it down on the, on the, on the, uh, on the item. Oh, is there anything else you want me to put? I'm the best captain. Because I actually thought he was joking. I thought he was having a little bit of a banter. Uh, no, he wasn't joking. He turned around and said, there you go. What an arrogant, big-headed... I mean, right back from when the show started. It kind of dashed my um, impression of him now. Uh, I expected him being, yeah, a bit of a P-Rick. But to not to this extent. I expected him being quite a uh, chatty man. Even though his ego was bigger than his uh, film career, may I say. Uh, although he has had a, a varied career in his lifetime. Uh, but I expect him being a bit more uh, forth with, with the uh, the guests. Uh, he wasn't. Um, bit of a disappointment. But anyhow, uh, let's move along and let's show you what I purchased on the day and what I got signed. Right, I shall show you my... Um, okay, two seconds. I'll be back. This is professionalism, people. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Here we are. Ah, don't even want me long. Right. Uh, Ernie Hudson. Yes, that's Winston from Ghostbusters. Um, guys are great. Ah, 72 years old. He was 71 when I met him. Pardon me. And he was 72 the, um, the week after the show. Um, God, he looks good. For his age, he looks absolutely amazing. And his arms are as big as my leg. He's huge. Um, lovely guy though, I uh, got him to uh, sign, my argument is he should have done it in a silver pen, or gold, but nevertheless, uh, Ernie Hudson, uh, it signed, I will insert the picture here, there we go, that's Ernie, uh, he, he, he wasn't allowed to take photographs per se, uh, because you had to book an appointment to have a, photo, a professional photograph taken. So I was taking sneaky ones of the guests who I'd got signed. Um, but I will put them. Um, and yes, it's Stay Puffed. But I got it signed by Ernie Hudson. And he's put, who are you going to call? Ernie Hudson. Winston. I love that. Um, story behind it is... Wife crushed the box. Anyhow. So I took loads of care in getting him to Manchester and then the wife crushed the box. I just, I won't lie all of it down. So it's it's forever mortalised in a YouTube video now. Wife crushed box. Uh, next one is Jennifer Runyon, who played the girl in the card scene. Like I said, the lesser characters tend to be more forthwith, very chatty. And she's put to Mark, do you still love it? Jennifer Onion. Uh, she hasn't really had a massive career, but uh, this is the first time she'd been to the UK uh, doing signings. Uh, good honour, uh, but shame that it was a disappointment in, in the sense that um, it was a very poor event. A lot of the guests were complaining and the... Um, that us as guests were complaining. Uh, William Shatner. I got my Laserdisc copy of Star Trek Six signed by Bill. That's all he was seeing. Dollar bills. <clears throat> so I shall put that to the side. Did I get anything else signed in there? Oh no, I did take that. I did take the uh, the VHS large box copy. But uh, I wasn't going to ask him. To uh, do a second signature because uh, he was being so much of an ass. So anyway, that's that. Uh, the next one is my ever-expanding collection of autographs on my Star Wars. We've got Ian McDermid, uh, the Emperor. I shall insert photo. Uh, we have Dennis Lawson, who played Wedge, Ewan McGregor's uncle. He's in all three films, or the originals. Uh, picture here. 
Uh, who was the other one? Oh, and Billy D. Didn't get a photograph of him uh, due to the fact he was so crowded and his queue was so big. He's so frail and old, I think that's why the queue people were queuing up to get his autograph. But there's Billy D. Williams as Lando. Uh, so I can't really insert a picture. Um, other than that, they're the autographs I got. I did get a couple of multiples. I got. Um, oh God, it's, it's so bugging me. Um, oh, yeah, this is the other one as well. Sorry, I do apologise. Um, kept in the most pristine so the wife can't crush it. Uh, it's the uh, NECA Gremlins 2 series that looks like uh, the NES game. Uh, striped from the from the game. Um, I can't pronounce his last name. Yeah, Gal Gallagher? Gal Gallagher? 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 Is that Gallagher? 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 I don't know. Anyhow, I, I, I'll put it below. I'll do it there. Right, go. Just there. Uh, Zach Gallagher? 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 Anyway, whatever. Anyhow, um, I got him to. Well, that's the figure of Stripe, and uh, he signed it there. I also got him to sign, if I can find it. So professional and so organised. Uh, oh, there we go. I do have it. I have something else as well. <clears throat> I am back. Uh, I got him to sign my copy of the game of the figure so there we go he signed my NES copy of Gremlins 2 and a pack of uh, collector's cards with the chewing gum still in the wax wrapper uh, I don't believe I have them with me do oh do I do I Mm. No, I don't. Oh well. Anyhow, uh, I got a pack of those and they were signed as well. Uh, I can't find them. I've put them somewhere. Uh, my other. Uh, no, it's a picture cursed. Did it? Right, so what else do we have here? I went absolutely nuts. Oh, no, I do. There he is. There he is. There he is. Ha ha ha. There he is. The, um, I got, yeah, if you can just see, signed by Zach. Uh, they've never been opened, and I'm going to get these acrylically and put it in an acrylic box because it's coming off. It's actually where, uh, coming off, as you can see. So, anyhow, and I got. Something that I've been after for a while, a little um, wicket um, Lego figure, um, that were cheap. Right, these were the piece de resistance. Now, can you see that? That is an original framed cell from Alvin and the Chipmunks. I'm covering the price up because um, I don't want to offend if I pay too much. Um, but uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, an original framed cell. Uh, I love animation and I love um, just just the whole process of it. It's just a fascinating and amazing uh, process. It's so time consuming but the end result is absolutely oh, it's, it's brilliant. Can't put in words. Uh, now this picture isn't the one I originally had or purchased because I got in touch with Cellbase, who was selling the animation frames. I'll put the link below uh, for their website because um, he's been really kind and courteous to send me an alternative uh, animation cell of this said program, which is an original Ren and Stimpy. It's not the one I originally wanted. I do, I will put a picture of the original frame. And the reason I swapped it 
and I got in touch with him is because just in the top corner there's a Nickelodeon sticker. Now the sticker had been removed and it, had, it was underneath the actual framing of the card uh, and his uh, Stimpy's finger. Um, yeah, it's 20 odd years old, uh, I understand that. Uh, but some of the finger, the actual detail on the outside had flaked off. So I wasn't going to meddle with it, so I sent it back and he kindly replaced it with this. If you go on the website, I'll put the link just here at the bottom, uh, you will see the prices. Um, um, out of this world, some of the stuff. I, I, my sister went a bit... She didn't, she didn't like me for it, but I had to buy them because of what they were. And then I also bought these. Uh, a couple of these are going to be up for grabs. I'm going to have to clean some of them up because uh, the condition. Uh, they are raw. These are raw. Now this one's a beautiful one. Uh, very detailed and I love the airbrushed effect of the glowing bubbles. Uh, Peter Venkman from the Real Ghostbusters. I uh, got one of those. I've uh, got a pencil drawing of Ray and the actual painted cell of Ray. I've got a Peter Venkman pencil sketch and cell. Um, it's not a central shot but a nice background there with a, uh, a a screenshot of something would complement that. Uh, same with the Ray one. Um, I'll save that one to last. This one was an obscure one. Uh, it's going to take some cleaning up. Now this one. When I got it home, I paid... Uh, I'm not going to tell you what I paid. <laughs> but I paid for one cell. Which is what he thought as well. Um, <laughs> now... It's going to need a bit of cleaning up. It's going to need a bit of TLC because there's some paint, residual paint, because they were stuck together. These now, this is the actual frame, and then this is the next one, which I'm a bit miffed because obviously the episode may have got aired, may have got finished, or this scene never happened. I don't know. Um, there is a number on it 38A6, and then on this one. Uh, it's never finished um, So this is an actual unfinished frame So that's quite a rarity in my eyes um, We're quite pleased about that actually it's a bit of an obscurity um, So if anybody can enlighten me on that uh, That would be amazing to tell me what Or even if it got featured in an episode uh, We've got Egon and the Pencil drawing. I will be selling an Egon if anybody's interested. Um, we've got another one and the pencil drawing that goes with it. Let me just see. We've got the pencil drawing. We do have. Should be another one of that. Where are you? There you go. We have another Ray. Uh, again. I think a, a nice background would complement this with something there, the rest of the team. Just there, sorry. One thing camera shot. Um, but yeah, I think they're absolutely... These uh, piece of animation history, uh, they're what, 30 years old now? Um, they're still in fantastic condition. Might need a little bit of cleaning up on some, because there's some residual paint where the, the frames have been stuck together. Uh, because they've been in storage for so long. Um, but I suppose that adds a little bit of charm to it. Because when you saw it on screen, you saw bits all flicking up on the screen. And hairs and dust. You did. You did. Uh, because they didn't really take care of them. They were done in uh, like North Korea or something. So they were very rushed. But even to say that they were rushed, they were very detailed. Absolutely exquisite is the word. What's that one? Um, another Peter one, but it's on a slightly bigger framing, which again I'm curious about, because you've got this size, and then this one, the Peter one's on a bigger framing set. 
Maybe it's for a wider shop. Uh, uh, 1983. Oh, scene 63, sorry. Scene 63. It says P3163. So that's what it says at the bottom. That'll correlate to a scene within an episode. So that was one of them. A uh, shot of Peter. In fact, uh, I think I've got all the cast. Apart, I've only got one of Winston. Um, this one is one of the best uh, full bodied shots that I saw so I had to have that, it wasn't framed, he'd not prepared it so I plan on doing that myself as you can see about the storage when I was saying it's uh, obviously been rubbed against something quite dark but I wouldn't want to clean it up because it's very crisp and clear on the front and again um, 82B scene uh, 78 Dash A1 is because here, but that is, that's an amazing piece. Love it. Such a nice piece, is that? I mean, it's, it's, I don't care what people say, it's art. It's art in its purest form. Uh, dedication, time, and effort is put into making animated TV shows. Um, this one, uh, the gentleman, because I'd spent so much money, uh, I, I cheekily said, so you're gonna chuck anything in for free? And he did. Um, this, which is a full shot, so it's to the left. But again, you could put another character just there. I uh, need some cleaning up, there's some dirt residue there. And on the back, the paper, it looks like it's been stuck to the actual drawing of said, you know, the pencil drawing. So the, the, um, the paper, the residual paper that's been stuck uh, will need to be removed. But other than that, uh, again a nice piece. I will be selling an Egon. Uh, one of these. I will, if anybody's interested, I will be selling one. So please comment below. Uh, it will be packaged uh, with the utmost care. Because as I, I, I like to look after things like this. So... If you're interested in that, uh, drop us a message uh, below. But this one's a little late in the coming. I know we're on the... I don't know what date we're on today. I shall... Uh, we're on the... whatever. Don't know. Uh, there's about ten days left before Christmas. Eight, seven, six. I don't know. I really don't know what day it is. Uh, let's have a look. Come on, TV. The date is the 16th. The, today's date is the 16th. Sorry for that. I wasn't being rude. I was getting the date up on the TV. Uh, it's the 16th. This was for... Well, it wasn't filmed. In fact, I shall show you the footage of the day. I filmed a whole few seconds. I met Ecto Crank. What a, what a lovely guy. I forgot to mention this. What an absolutely charming guy he is. Um... He's off Instagram, he's had his own TV show from the US. Um, he's done a video for me, for the charity video, which I've still yet to get out there and finish. Uh, there's some elements of it I still need to piece together, and I need to do the credits. Uh, the credits is what's doing me in. Uh, I need help with the credits. Because um, <laughs> I don't have a program to make credits, if you get what I mean. Uh, so that's what's holding me back on that. But once that's done, that'll be out there. Uh, but Ecto Crank uh, is, is a lovely guy. I uh, had a, a really nice chat with him. And I even filmed some footage. Um, the only footage that was filmed of the day is with me, my sister and Ecto Crank. Uh, I will post it here. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's a video. Right, that was the footage. That is the uh, consist the entire contents of footage I filmed that day. Uh, the rest is in photographs because it was such a miserable day, such a long day. I couldn't be bothered filming. So that just about wraps that up. Uh, that is the end of this video. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed. Click the link in the corner. The kids are coming downstairs. I'm going to wrap this up really quick. Uh, click the link. Uh, like and subscribe. And feel free to follow us on YouTube. And thank you for the 
subscribers that have recently uh, followed us. Hello, Kirsty. You always come at the last minute, don't you? A drink. I shall get one shortly. Uh, but yes, um, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, one of those cells is up for grabs. Can you guess what we got the other day? You gonna bring him here? Bring him here. Here. Yeah. Um, I wasn't gonna feature it on the video. We're gonna do it as a different video. That's who that was. I had this. We're going from Builder Bear. Bowser and we got Mario Bear and we got Toad. I wasn't gonna do it, I was gonna do a completely separate video about it, but Kirsty being Kirsty had to press the button. So anyhow, thank you for watching. That was a bit random. But that wouldn't be me, would it? <laughs> yes, I'm feeling loads better. <coughs> so uh, don't forget, like and subscribe, click the link in the corner. Thank you. Keep gaming. As always. Bye, Saiyan. I said keep gaming. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to these. I'm talking to these. Yeah. Talking to all those people that watch our videos. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. I've been upstairs. I've been upstairs. You're going to wave bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye then. <laughs> all right, monkey. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, follow us on Instagram on Lou Mac Posters 07.